Hey everyone, what's up? Uh, welcome to my guitar lesson. So, once again, Dark Throne, Soul Side Journey from the Soul Side Journey record. This one is C sharp standard tuning, which is three F notes below E standard. Okay? <laughs> for some sick riffs, holy shit. Well, first one. Okay, notes. Fifth on the E. Seven, A. Six, seven, E. One, two, E. Four, third. A. Okay. Fantastic. Riff number two. I'm gonna start five on the E. Six to five on the D. And finish on the seven A. Second time. Then one on the E, second to second on the D and A. Then it separates into two guitars. Okay? First one, it's gonna be always the same. Third on the A, four on the G, four on the D. So first guitar. Party, so it's the same. So okay. Now the second guitar. Okay. So on the G string, four and five. This little amaron thing. And then four. On the G for on the D. Okay, the same as guitar number one. This repeats. Okay, as you've seen, the second guitar now is a little simpler, slide to the fifth. Okay, the first guitar stays the same. Now, riff three, a fast variation of this one. Same notes, first part, but treble. Second part, uh, start on the first on the E. Second, first on the D. Third on the A. That one, two, three, one, two, three, feel. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, da, 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 and so on. Okay. Riff number four, a tricky one. So play it slow first. Okay. This galloping on the open E and you start this descending sequence uh, on the 7A and 6th on the E and A and 5th and you end the sequence on the 4th on the E then the second part 2nd on the E, 1st A and then move one fret up, third and second. Then third fret on the A power chord. First fret on the E power chord. Quite a long one, okay. Now 
on the second guitar, on the third time. It's gonna do the descending sequence starting on the ninth fret on the D string. And then ends the same. And on the fourth time, the descending sequence starts on the seventh fret of the D. Okay, so there you have it, the fifths on the and the fourths regarding the first guitar. A little theory, but that's nonsense, okay? So, after this, riff number one, again, five times, I failed to mention, but that's okay, we're here to learn the riffs. So the next sequence, a little bridge, gonna be power chords, slide seven to the second on the E, and slide six to first. Okay, then seven to second to third, like this. Okay. Fifth. Second. Okay, this little bridge once again. Can do a little pick scrape leading into riff number five. <laughs> yes, maybe. So, I'm gonna start by sliding from the seven to the second, but it actually starts on the second, like. Okay, second, galloping, slide to the sixth, to the first. Galloping, slide to the fifth. <laughs> this one is tricky. Fifth, and then seven, slide to the second. Okay. Sounded confusing, I think, but I'm gonna play to you slow. If I could only play it properly, I'm sorry. Slide six first. Five times on the fifth fret power chord. And then the slide seven to the first, to the second. So, gonna slide all the way, only, only play it once. Okay. And the same. Okay. So, it makes a difference, believe me. <laughs> so, this is a confusing riff. We played two times on the second, do this. So, you stay on the first fret galloping. Then, on the fourth time, begin on the th th third fret. To fifth, back to third. Man, this riff is a son of a bitch to explain. Once again. so much that I make it all on purpose just to play it again. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> so, riff number six, after this, I'm begin on the fifth on the D, second on the A, fourth on the D, and power chords on the A, fourth to third. And then on the D, seven to 
6th to 5th on the G. So now with tremor low. faster variation of this riff, the same notes, no power chords, only fast and furious. Okay, now riff number seven or eight, oh my god, I can't even tell, holy shit, these riffs are so good. So. Gonna palm mute heavily on this one. The chords, fourth to third on the E string. And we're gonna go tremolo first on the E, to second, to third on the A. So. Then you do this, uh, this thing again. And then the second part, it's gonna be tremolo. Third on the A, to fourth, sixth on the D, to fifth on the D. Once again, a mess to explain, but slowly. So on the last note. Don't tremolo, do the little bendy thing, just to sound cool and hipster. Okay, now the final riff, oh, so close. Open A power chord. Fifth to fourth. Power chords on the A. Then on the second fret, E string power chord. First fret on the A power chord. second guitar feels a little edgy and does this on the G string third fret and to finish it off a first version of this riff the same notes like the record, you know, because we're here to learn this freaking amazing record. I love Soulside Journey, oh my god. Thanks for watching guys, I'm excited because this record, you know, has inspired me to write my own songs and shit. Beautiful riffs, man. Thank you. <laughs>